Hi everyone, so I am back again this week. Last week we did springtime cupcakes. Unfortunately, the video didn't save, so I'm trying a new venue this time of recording the video and posting it, and I'll post it in my story and then both my Facebook pages. So today, as I've been telling you, we are going to make dinosaur cards. Um, these are really great for Mother's Day, which is coming up next month, or Father's Day, whichever you prefer. I didn't put a message in, but you can open it. So I'm gonna walk you through how to make this. It's really easy. It's great for kids of all ages. So all you kids watching out there, this is something you can do really easily with or without mom and dad's help, which I'm sure is really cool. All right, and as I promised, I have two helpers today. Do you wanna meet them? So, I have Lila the calf joining me today and her friend, Ezra Elephant. And they're really great friends. And a quick note about Ezra, he actually will be the focus of our blog next week. So stay tuned for next week because you're gonna have the opportunity to learn more about Ezra. He has a lot to share with you. So without further ado, these guys have their hands washed and they're ready to get going, okay? So we're gonna place you guys over here. So as I posted, all you need for this is really simple. The tools that you need are construction paper, whatever colors you like is fine, scissors, make sure you hold them the right way, always the pointy boot down, you hand them to people like this so it's safe, glue, I have tacky glue, but Elmer's glue or Elmer's gel works really well. Crayons are color pencils or even markers. I unfortunately do have markers, so I'll be using my crayons. And then a pencil and an eraser, okay? So because I already did red, because red is among one of my favorite colors, I think, I think I'm gonna do yellow, because I love yellow. So I take a piece of yellow paper. And what I like to do is I like to fold it in half so that way I know, let me fix this. Okay, there we go. So I like to fold it in half so that I have a nice line in the middle. Now what you're gonna do, and this is the part that I really like about this, is it's really easy to trace. You're gonna take your hand and you're gonna put your hand on the paper. See what I do? Oops. Okay. You're gonna put your hand on the paper and you're just gonna trace it. So I'm gonna trace my hand. Nice and easy. Now you might have to have your brother or sister or mom and dad help you. Okay, there we go. Almost done. Okay. Now once you, you really can't see it, but my hand is traced. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut it out. And there we go, I have the body of my dinosaur. Because my hand, fingers are a little long, I'm just gonna cut it a little bit to make it a little bit rounder. Rounder there. Now what I did, because I do like to draw, is 
I drew the head of a dinosaur to make this yesterday. So I'm gonna use this as a trace because I'm on video, but you can just freehand this. You can draw whatever dinosaur you want. So if you want a T-Rex or you want a Stegosaurus, you can definitely do that. I like long, neck, long, excuse me, long necks, which is why I did a long neck dinosaur. So let me go ahead and trace this. This way. There we go. Now I am also going to cut this out. And now I have the head of my dinosaur. So my next step is I'm gonna glue the dinosaur on the inside. So I like to use this flat side as the neck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my hand. I'm gonna take my glue and I'm going to add oops, some glue <laughs> right here. There we go. Right there. So I just put a little bit of glue right there. And I'm gonna take the dinosaur head and I'm going to glue him on right there. And just let that dry. And that's the basis of our dinosaur. Now, I just like to decorate him a little bit, him or her, so that it gives him or her a little bit more life. So let me take my crayons. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do green and purple. I think that sounds like a fun combination, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my own drawing. So I just gave him, I should say him or her, a little bit of eyes there. Then I think I'm gonna do little spots. Do some spots. Or you can do squiggly lines, whatever you like to decorate your special dinosaur. Cause I'm sure it will be beautiful. There we go. Another idea you can do too, which I actually did for my red dinosaur, is you can take some paper. So I'm gonna take some green paper and I'm just gonna cut a sliver off of paper. And you can just cut shapes, whatever kind of shape you want. And this is a great way to use up scraps so that you're not wasting paper, right? It's very important not to waste. Then I'm just gonna glue.
place them on. And I can add some more purple dots. Now that these big green ones are on him. And there you go. So I have my boy and girl dinosaur. It could be either or. Both are fun colors, I think. And that is my craft of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I will list out all the, uh, excuse me, all the supplies that I use so you have that easy reference. And thank you for joining us. And Ezra and Lila are really excited to meet you. And I look forward to you joining me for next week's craft. I probably will do a cooking craft. Um, I should say baking in other words. Um, and I'll have two other friends joining me and Ezra and Lila will come back to join as well at some point. All right, have a great day everyone, bye.